And uh, another student uh, asked me by mail, she doesn't want to be recognized, so she doesn't want to be mentioned. But she was a little bit rude with me. And she told me, well, you are very ideological, very conservative, and even worse, you, you're like a, you are evil because you try to hide your conservative, conservatism by trying to, see, to, to be a good guy, but you are a bad guy. <laughs> okay, uh, well, probably this is true. I'm pretty bad. Um, but inside the university, uh, here the problem is ideology. The problem is the relationship between an ideology and the scientific approach that uh, we professors are supposed to teach. Uh, I think that uh, objectivity. There is no way in the social sciences uh, uh, to be objective. So the search for objectivism, for objectivity, it's uh, like the search for uh, the saint graal, something uh, which is very nice but doesn't exist. So how we, in the social sciences, solve this problem, that uh, we cannot be objective? Well, in general, I would say that even the, the physicists cannot be objective, but this is pretty hard discussion with them. So we can't mimic. So we can't imitate the physical sciences. We have to work with, <coughs> with ideology, with biases. And uh, how do we solve this problem? Well, it's very simple. Uh, to be scientific in this field means that uh, you first you have to make explicit your ideological point of view, your bias. Very explicit. When it is explicit, also you have to trap the consequences of your ideological bias. For instance, I'm pro-democracy, pro-Western. I'm very concerned about the rage of the world of uh, um, authoritarian powers. I'm also very concerned about the destiny of the global economy. Therefore, I'm inclined to see the solutions in that side. Uh, but I will make this very explicit, so you know that from this point of view, uh, there is the definition of a specific problem, and then, uh, consequently, the definition of a certain type of uh, set of solutions. But also, I'm able to simulate in my mind uh, a different point of view. Hmm? That is, the, for instance, the point of view of the enemy. Or, uh, in uh, my writing, my book, uh, the one between Italian or uh, the European public, uh, uh, they take into account, uh, as, uh, I try to build uh, a global point, point of view. So in other words, n the problem is never uh, which kind of ideology you have. You can be a communist, uh, well, that, that's not good. But, but now you, you can be a communist, you can be every, everything you want, conservative, liberal, democrat, or whatever. What you have, you have to learn, uh, if you want to be a political scientist, uh, is to make explicit your bias and to try to control it, but to make explicit. Science, first, first of all, is transparency. 